Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time to be in with me, subscribe because we have lots of different stuff going on on the channel. It's not like one specific homesteading, it's everything. Well, today. Bowling, fishing, hunting. Yeah, just relaxing too. <laughs> Basically, nothing. you've seen in the beginning of the video how I make my hay, I guess for my cows, my crazy cows. This video about my crazy cow, the story of it, how and when, and how did she turn out from being a crazy cow. Yeah, so basically I'll come on my pasture and actually you can see the difference in the grass. This is a pump out from our septic system and the grass is a lot thicker than on the rest of the pasture. So now I'm basically collecting all the grass for my cows. I'll show you what I'm doing. I can let them out, but I'm not going to because it's easier for me to do this stuff. Cut the grass and feed them like that. And I'll have some time to spend with them. As you can see, my girl, my baby girl, she's helping me. And she's doing a great job. Good job, Mariam. <laughs> She's like, mom, it's not enough. We need more. Cut some more. So yeah, this is how back in the day people cut grass because they didn't have no push mowers. They use a sigh. I think I said it right. Yeah, well, let's go and see my crazy cows. You guys haven't seen it yet that we bought the cows. And let's go see them. And let's talk about why she's crazy. with this idea I told my husband Igor I'm like honey I want some cows I want to milk cows again he's like okay whatever go for it find find one so I went online and I found one mix Jersey Dexter mix 
So I called the guy up and I was texting him. He's, he's like, yeah, she's available. She's really good. I'm like, okay, well, let's go look at it. We drove for an hour and a half to go see the cow. And I really liked it. We agree on the price. And on the way back home, I asked Igor, can I buy another cow from the same guy? He's like, yeah, if you want to buy a heifer. I'm like, okay. So next day, we, we took the trailer. We borrowed the trailer from my friend. <laughs> we went back to the farm. I got the cash. So this guy got them all locked up in a corral and we had to do the ear tags on them. On one, on the white one. And I'm asking Martin, the seller, I'm like, you have another heifer for sale? He's like, I do. And I'm like, where she's at? He's like, she's in the pasture. Do you want me to go get it? I'm like, I looked at Igor, I'm like, honey, he's like, okay. But we start with one and now you ended up with three. He's like, okay, if you want it, take it. So I told Martin, can you go bring her in? So he did. He left, he went to grab the third cow, heifer. And I stayed with Igor and the kids outside the corrals. Then I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go touch the cow. Yeah, and she walked in in this corral thing with a little bit of grass. And that cow's got that stupid look, that crazy look. And then she just, wow, right over the fences. And I'm thinking to myself, oh man. I don't think we want this cow, but too late, we already paid the guy and he was ready to get the third one. We're like, man, I don't know, this is not a good idea, but I'm not saying anything. I'm disappointed. <laughs> we're finally... We, we, we loaded... She, she jumped that fence. i never seen cows jump that fence that clear and that high. I five mean, feet. Five feet, it just cleared it. And then the white one right behind it. And I'm like... Oh, I'm buying the jumper. <laughs> and then, yeah, this is great. And we, and he came back with a third cow, and he wasn't excited over it. So he gathered everything in, and we finally loaded up in a trailer. We brought it home, and so we brought him home, and we we'll have the barn. And I open up the doors for the barn. I thought they're gonna kill me. all three of them, dude. I thought they're gonna break the whole barn apart. And they hit the door, the door they came in, and it was only three quarter inch plywood with a little hinge and it busted. Luckily, that thing they just right open. Like Noah's Ark, let it go. It didn't open up. In the morning, I woke up, I didn't sleep the whole night. I'm like, I better go check on the cows. Came in the barn. The two, the red one and white one, they were kind of like laying down. But the milking cow, she still had the looks. And I'm like, oh boy, I'm, I'm never gonna milk that cow again. Ever again, ever. I thought the guy was full of shit. I mean, you know how people around here in Alberta, the farmers, they'll lie. And yeah, I guess the guy was actually, he was right. He actually milked that thing. So a week went by. The week went by and she had the calf. She had the baby calf. Martin told me, the seller, he told me she she's actually pulled Dexter. It's this one. She's pulled Dexter Jersey. And that would be her calf. And he was supposed to be pure Jersey. Right? And he's a bull calf, but we'll put a band on him. But guess what, you guys? Me and her, we're actually getting along really well. She's got a really nice otter. And I'm milking her. I'm just done milking her. And she's actually... She doesn't kick. She stands like a charm. Like I have Holsteins. Not like you put a car in the parking and it stands there. Yeah. Not like, you know, you have a bad parking brake on the standard. You put it in there and it still wants to roll. We had some milking cows, man. Them things were, they'll kick as soon as she almost done milking, like the last bit of it. She'll kick the it, bucket. <laughs> and over on purpose, like she looks over and bam, it's over. But not this one. She stands really good. And I'm happy actually with my buyer. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, first couple of days, 
I wasn't so happy. I was scared. I was thinking I'm never gonna even touch her, but now I can touch her. I can brush her. Anything. Yeah. But... Well, Igor, he doesn't come inside, so that's why they are like that. But today I let them actually outside on the pasture. They've been eating some grass and I lock the gates again because I want them to be all night on the pasture. But yeah, so this one that I milk, she's five years old. The red one, she is, um, what kind is she? she? I don't know, a red one. She is a short horn, but she's pulled, no horns. And this one is purebred short horn too. So, a little bit wild, but they'll be there. We're gonna tame them. Well, this is the my, my, my story about my crazy cow. If you guys like that video, put a thumbs up. If you didn't like that video, put a thumbs down. If you have an advice as how to tame a cow, let me know. But I think we'll figure this out with her. Where she's at. She's a good mama. Yeah, she's a good mom. Okay, bye for now. Thanks for watching. Or thanks for listening to me.